Hi Stampers, it's Rachel here from reachthestamper.wordpress.com. I'm on a roll. I really want to show you how to use this Always an Adventure stamp set. And it also comes with a coordinating framelits set, which is called Outdoor Adventure. And it has the tent, the trees. It has a lot of uh, thinlets that you can use to cut this stuff out. So I kind of was trying to pre-plan how I wanted to do this. But I cut so many pieces and got totally crazy ahead of myself that I, I, I'm I not really sure what I'm going to do. <laughs> so we're going to have to do this one as we go along. So I did go ahead and I pre-cut a couple things. So I cut out the signs. I cut out a couple of trees. What I did is I stamped these in Old Olive on Old Olive. I did the tent in um, chocolate chip. I also did the mountain ridge and the trees. <clears throat> in old olive look at this old olive and then i stamped the lake in marina mist onto whisper white so my thoughts here i, I got a little crazy ahead of myself so what i think i'm going to do is i think i'm going to do a base of crumb cake so i happen to have one already so we're just going to use this one here this is uh four and a quarter by 11 we're going to score it at five and a half so i'm going to go ahead and fold this just hit my bone folder. Okay, and then we're gonna use, let me move this out of the way. We're gonna use a piece of Whisper White, which is cut at four by five and a quarter. That's gonna be our base layer. So I haven't really decided what I wanna do yet, but so I wanna put the mountain range in here. I do wanna put the lake, but I haven't decided if I wanna put the lake, I guess the lake could go either direction really, here and then put the lake over here so I can still fit the trees in. But if you're gonna put the sign, you kinda want it facing the right direction. Well, if you're crazy like I am, you do because the mountains are here and the lake is there. And I still wanted to put this darn tent over here. So maybe I'll do that. But before I do that, what I wanted to do is I wanted to give a little bit of color to this so it's not just a white background. So I thought I'll kinda do like a sunset and a grassy sort of thing. So we're gonna use uh, Daffodil Delight and we're gonna use Pumpkin Pie. So we'll do the Daffodil Delight first since that's the lighter color. And we'll kind of just do a little bit of like a uh, sun and um, grass kind of thing going on. So we're gonna use our sponge dauber and we're just gonna go over this. It doesn't have to be perfect. We just wanna give some let me put a piece of paper down, some color to this. All right. And it's, like I said, it doesn't need to be perfect because there's gonna be stuff in front of it anyway. And then we're gonna do pumpkin pie. We'll go down this one a little bit more so it's more like the deeper sun color. Hopefully this turns out okay. So that's good. I don't want to get too crazy. Now we're going to use something light. How about we'll use pear pizzazz because that'll definitely be light. Okay, pear pizzazz. And we'll start with this off. Oh gosh, that's a lot darker than what I thought. <laughs> so we're just going to fill this around. Oh well, that's okay. We'll work with it where the lake would be. Okay, because you figure, hold on, I lost my pieces if the lake is over here. So maybe I'll just do this just a little bit. Just blend to the edges. Okay, let's see how that works. So if we say the lake is over here, just bring just a little bit more. Okay, so the lake is there. We'll do the mountains up here. I do still have a couple trees I can pop in somewhere to hide the edges of this. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna do the mountains. So I'm gonna just put some snails. And let's see. 
put those, and you could even go off the card because you're going to have it on a base. It's not really going to show up. And then you're going to want your lake here. But before that, I'm going to put this tree up on a dimensional just to uh, hide that hard edge there. Okay. Get that all the way off. There we go. So put this tree here. That way you can't see the edge. And we'll do the same thing on this side. But this one we'll put just directly with adhesive. Okay, that way you can't see the edge of the mountain. And then we're gonna figure where we want our lake. We'll put our lake there. I'm not gonna put that down yet. <clears throat> then we're gonna put our other trees we'll put down over here. And they put a little bit more of this in. I'm gonna just cover this over just lightly, just in case we don't there, exactly cover it. Okay. So if we do that and that, just like that. And I want to put, I still want to definitely put this tent in. The tent can go there. And we could actually put the sign, I guess, behind it. Let's do that. That looks fun. We'll put the sign directly down. The sign here. And then I'm going to pop up the tent. Where's my dimensionals? Here they are. And if you can hear, but there is a crazy frog in my backyard is making some noises I have never heard before. <laughs> All right. And if you have your um, silicone sheet, you can actually put your adhesive on this and that way it won't stick to your paper, but it will fill in all the little gaps and you can just wipe this right off. Okay, so if I figure I'm going to put that, we'll go with about, yeah, down there. And I still have to figure exactly where I want my lake. Right about there. And I'm going to put the lake down directly as well. Okay, and then my tent, let me get this out of the way, is going to go here. Now the other cute thing they have, and I didn't cut this out, I think I stamped it somewhere, is a little fire. So I'm actually going to see if I can fussy cut this real quick. I'm not, I couldn't tell if one of the framelits went with this or not, and I already ran them through, so we'll, we'll do it this way. Sorry, I don't normally make you watch me fussy cut. I know it's time consuming. So there are so many really cool stamp sets in the new catalog if you haven't seen it yet. If you don't have a copy, if you place a $25 order in my online store, I will send you one free. You can also go to my online store and get all kinds of other stuff. There's some plenty of stuff on the clearance rack. Just put a little bit of adhesive on that. Every campsite needs a little fire. Okay, and we can also, I'm going to put another tree down just right near the tent. Just to give it a little extra something. Put that right up there. I can even put this, there's another tree that I happen to cut out here. Yeah, I'll put that back there because I don't want to overload some people might already think this is overloaded, but I think it's so cute. It's hard not to use all the pieces in, in this set. Okay, so there we go. And then I'm going to just put this onto a piece of crumb cake, which is definitely going to make it look super duper outdoorsy. So let me put a little adhesive here. You could definitely pop this up on a dimensional too, if you wanted to. Wow, this turned out really cool. You know... A lot of times I'm worried that when I'm doing stamps like this, it's going to look terrible and then I kind of wasted my time. But this looks super. Got a little bit of adhesive on there. I just want to rub that off. There we go. Come on. Okay. 
they look really cool. The sunset looks cool. I probably could have moved the mountain down just a slight bit, but for the first time, I think that looks really, really neat. Definitely like the effect of the lake and whatnot. And you could always, like I said, you could have turned this a little bit. This could be down a little bit lower. You could do the mountain range in brown if you wanted to. You could do it in crumb cake or uh, yeah, crumb cake or very vanilla. And then you could do the tops of the mountains just a little bit brown. You could do this in mm, chocolate chip and then go over the tops in white, like it's snow-capped mountains. There are so many possibilities for this. Oh my gosh, it is just ridiculous. So I'm gonna send this to a friend of mine for her birthday, it's coming up very soon. I hope she's really, really surprised when she sees it and she loves it a lot. And especially now she can watch the video of how Blondie here stumbled through it. <laughs> if you guys haven't subscribed already, you can follow me on Rach, I'm sorry, on YouTube at Rach the Stamper. You can follow my blog at rachthestamper.wordpress.com. Again, my online store is rachthestamper.stampinup.net. I'm also on Pinterest as Rach the Stamper. And I do um, some periscopes also, but that is at glfgrl11. But probably you could also search Rach the Stamper and it will come up as well. <clears throat> Thanks for watching guys. I hope you really love this card. Gave you a little inspiration and a little bit of tidbit of what's coming with all the new stamp sets. Thanks for taking time to watch. I really appreciate it and I hope you have a great day.